Hello everyone, in this short video I will show you how to install the OpenAI interface in a console in your way. The first step is to clone this repository. Here at reading you will have the entire procedure. If you don't have the dock installed on your machine, you can follow this tutorial to test it in the dock. But what's more, you're going to clone this repository. Just copy this code here to clone it. Right, you go to your root directory there. Give git clone and it will download the OpenAI interface repository so we will wait for it to download the entire repository which will involve some configuration files that have already been pre-configured with some PRB, with 106, with 162, with core and everything else and then I will wait for it to finish here. Logically it will be leaving us here the OpenAI interface, so it has this file here, we will access it, so for that I will give cd or open the interface, inside it, there are some writings to automate the entire process, what we are going to do. First we are going to start using the core, so to start using the core we will be using this first script here, which is .oi underscore underscore 5 underscore underscore core underscore underscore installation .sh Once this is done we press enter, it will be installing the entire core process, it takes little time, but it will install itself correctly. While it's going to install here in the core, I'm going to get the terminal to show other things we can be doing. It isn't. Completely isn't. Entering the OpenAI interface here, listing all the files that are present in it, we can see that there is a directory with the name conference. The core 5G directory will practically be manipulating the files that are between the doc compose directory and the conference file. The conference file just give IES here to prove the installation. The conference file is returning here. It will have all the files, right? I'm going to enter this directory here in this conference directory. It will have all the configuration files with the specifications of each parameter here with PR bone 162, PR bone 106, in IN 310, in USRP entry 110, here settings for USRP BTW 110 and so on, so each will have its own configuration. Practically, we're going to change the IPA addresses. Where can I check these IPA addresses? Just opening them here for you. I'm going to open any file here. I don't know. Let's open this stage on node B. They're practically very similar, okay? For the network configuration on the USRP 310 3000 740, that is precisely the bandwidth that it will be used for. Let's open this file here just to understand. First here you will configure the configuration part of your device, your phone, then here the area of activity, the GENUDI by ID and here the PLMN list which is MMC, MNC, 1, I won't go into detail here. But practically when you have access to the file here and you go there to see what network, you will be scrolling down here to the end of it so you can check these instructions here, which is precisely here, about the AMF, the AMF parameters, which it is precisely the IP address, which we will be using, 32 here, that of the AMF, which will be responsible for communication there with the core, and our device here. <coughs> we are going to operate the network interface. Certainly any original file that you download from the open interface processor itself will be different from this year. But for our experiments here we will use this configuration pattern. And then, to configure the USRP, in this case we are at 310 here, we must also configure the USRP management address, which in this case is the one we configured right here below, 9216820.2 this year is both configured according to the USRP. The others here are both standardized and there will be no problem. So certainly depending on the USRP that you will be using, maybe then you will just change this IP address so that the other codes that are present here in this repository can work there. You will be changing this here to communicate with this repress. The rest will be okay. I'm going to close here, leave. I'll check here if he has finished installing the core. He is finishing the installation process. It's jumping around in the images. In fact, He's already downloaded it. He's kind of. <coughs> You're not taking the images for me. Sorry about the cough. But while it's loading, I'll show it here again. I'm going to leave this con directory here. I'm once again inside the open interface directory and there are some written here to automate the container that we want to upload, which I call serve.sh here. So if I simply press slash serve.sh and give enter, 
It will show the options that I have to use so if I put dot bar service shish space none 106, I mean that I will be activating the PR bone 106 file. It is activating the PR bone 106 file in the USRP. In fact the file with PRB equal to 106 within USRP 310. If I put there that dot slash CF shish space 162 it means that my PRB will be 162 in USRP 310 note that the end here indicates that it is in 310 and when I have B here in this example here the bone 106 is a BTW 110 so if bone 106 the PRB the 106 referring to the PRB which will be the 106 the OSRP will be the B210. Here is the rest. Here is FR which is just to identify here as if it were Flex RIC in this version that was created. Just see if our core has finished uploading here, right? If our core is already okay, if I give Docker PS a here I will see our Docker instances of our core and then I will start our Genode B here. So for that I give point slash access, as I said to you, and then I'll be using the same one we talked about just now, right? The 962. Okay, once that's done, I press enter and it will go up to the SERP for us. While going through all the configuration processes, what will happen next, we will see the OSRP logs. If you want to see the logs from the core, just use the following command, docker logs OAIAMF and we see how the core configurations are. Logically it gives AMFF logs OAIAMFF and we can see these logs here in full, in constancy and then we can already see them here the OSRP that went up. So for this year I'm going to connect my device, there's another tutorial showing how to connect to the device. I have the device on my side, I don't have a camera to show you, so I'm going to connect the device here, it will connect, it connected. Note that the transfer of information begins and here I can now take advantage of the network offered through the 5G on cell phones. So I'm doing a speed test here. He's going to deliver packages and everything. Mais no mais é praticamente isso aí o tutorial que eu tenho para mostrar para vocês, né? Como vocês estão utilizando. Então você seguir nessas etapas aqui tá um pouco mais explicado aqui cada um o que cada uma faz. E no mais, pessoal, é isso aí, né? Eu finalizo aqui com vocês. Espero aí que tenha ficado um pouco claro.